We're in the community of Damascus. We are on a road that serves about 10 to 12 residents. A large hole has formed in this road and it's cut off residents from any type of emergency services. This emergency bridge is expected to carry about 30,000 pounds. So that means once it's in place, fire trucks, ambulances, and of course passenger vehicles will be able to use it. When we came down, we couldn't get across because there's a river. I got pictures. Yeah. 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 And then so, when the river went down, there was no culver. Yeah. <laughs> there. The county is planning for a permanent fix. We're very concerned about the environment and we are currently studying what wildlife uses this stream. Ideally, we would like to have a permanent repair starting in the beginning of June when we're allowed to work in the creek. We're really grateful. It would be nice to put our rigs back in the garages. It would be nice and didn't have trash service and to have uh, emergency service available yeah. to us too. This is exciting. Yes. I mean, we are, you know, they, they have been nothing but professional and yes. coming out here and uh, Vince, he's very nice. Yes. For Clackamas County, this is definitely a special project. I'm not aware of them ever building a Bailey Bridge. A Bailey Bridge is a temporary bridge. They've been built all over the world. They're military uses them extensively. A British engineer by the name of Bailey designed it for the British military during World War II and they're specifically designed for situations like this where you need a temporary bridge and you need it deployed really quickly. I was extremely proud of the county crews. Everybody put their heart into it. Folks didn't have access to ambulances. They didn't have access to fire trucks. I mean this was needed. We're just so grateful that the state had this option available to us uh, to use in an emergency. We had to close this road on a Sunday and then basically at 10 o'clock the next day we realized that this was an option and we started calling county employees at 10 o'clock and by 1 o'clock piece, bridge pieces were showing up here on site. We are here to serve the community 24-7. It's our commitment and it's our honor to serve residents and ensure they have whatever they need to safely thrive in Clackamas.